What's up, everybody? Piper here, back in Mr. Bible. And I took a few days off because I had a cold. And i uh, just been building stuff and placing stuff on the ground. Uh, just so my base kind of looks like it's livable. You know, like someone's living in it. So I got a bunch of engines and junk just sitting here. And you just kind of drop it and hopefully it lands where you want it. And then I built a regular hunting cabin. And then I got me a nice bed and just some random stuff placed around. Nice little uh, night of drinking. Some more cabinets. My little uh, my guest shelter. And my uh, my crops are finally done. So this is a final stage of uh, tomatoes, and now you got your final stage of corn. The stage five, the one right before this, pretty much looks the same, except it's uh, all green and has uh, only like two corn stalks on it. But I'll harvest those in a little while. Just gonna finish my little tour of my base. I think you already probably seen this area. Just littered some more stuff on there. And then you hopefully the when you drop weapons they'll they'll actually fall down. Sometimes you'll have to drop them on top of something else to actually make them fall down or they'll be sitting straight up. They just look weird. And then this one I have all of the uh, added a bunch of lockers. The uh, large ones, you can't, you can't pull them out of a building. They won't fit through the door. So I ended up just leaving the ones down at the other base because um, all you get is scrap wood for de destroying them. So I'm just going to use it as an extra storage. And I got my little arms room here. I need to go kill some more bandits. Just a bunch of random crap. And then I put uh, put Scott's room up in the back. So he comes up here and gets in his little, little corner up here. And then he can sit out the window. He's kind of antisocial. So he just sits up here and watches people as they do their thing. Got some booze with him. He's a drinker. So that's my base tour. And today I'm going to go ahead and build some... Uh, a generator and a different lights. Probably the uh, refrigerators as well. But the refrigerators are, are glitch right now. They don't keep anything cold or, you know, make stuff last longer. So they're... It's kind of a waste of time building them unless you just want them for direct decoration. Which, that's the only reason I'm going to build them. And those, uh, my traps, they aren't, they're, they stop working. So the only way you can really get rid of them is just to throw them in the, uh, the bin. If you make more, you can start trapping animals again, but I, I don't even, it's kind of a waste of time. It's a waste of resources. So let's go ahead and get started with the, uh, building the generator. I'm actually going to build it in here. And it's up here by this radio or generator, whatever you want to call it. And you're going to need 10 scrap, 20 components, and uh, 6 gears. Alright, now the generator's done. Those two lights you see are the, the two lights I took from... Uh, one of the cabins near the starting area. So to be able to to fill it up with fuel, you can either use these little uh, biofuels, and then you'll see the the amount of fuel over here on the right hand side, or you can use this uh, the gas can that you get out of the for the cars. And you can cancel it if you want to stop giving it a certain amount or whatever. 
All right, so it's got 15 liters in it now, and it'll last for around five days. But the only time I'll use this, the generator is at night when I want to actually do stuff. Otherwise, I keep it off. And you can go into your generator and turn things on or off, or you can actually go to the light itself. And these stupid gas cans, hopefully they'll disappear. If not, I'll just throw them in the, just throw them in the recycle bin. All right, so now we got the generator. I'm going to go ahead and make the two different lights. You got your lamp post that has four wood, four components, and one electronic component. So I'm just going to build it right there for now. And then we have our floodlights, which are directional. You can... uh. Like put them on top of a building and point them down or point them up or whatever you really want to do with them. I'm just going to show them there for now. And then we have one more light we can make, which is in the uh, workbench. And it's the wall light. And you need a uh, electronic part, two components, and uh, one empty bottle. So once it's built, you take the and put it in your hot bar, and then you can put it down. So I'm just going to shove it right, right there for now. And then you can go to the light, and you can turn them on. Oh, All right, you can go to the light, and you can turn it on with the F button for me. It's a default setting, or turn it off. And then you got to turn the generator on. And then it turns on, same with the other lights. If you uh, hit your E and C, E will bring it up, and then C will drop it down. These lights are good for lighting up a, a pretty decent size area. And, uh, and then you got the pole lights you can turn off and on. Uh, we'll wait till dark time, and uh, so you can see how much they actually uh, light up. I'll probably move them out. But I'm going to go ahead and build the refrigerators just for uh, decoration. Most of the stuff late in the game is more direct decoration for me because I'm not going to use any refrigerators. But to get to the refrigerators, you go over here to this little lightning bolt. And then you click down underneath the lightning bolt on the, or the light, light bulb on the right hand side. And it'll switch to your refrigerators. You got a small and you got the, the, the large fridge. And they just hold different amounts, and uh, they're pretty useless. So I'm just going to build this one over here, just so you can see it. And then I'm going to build the big one. I'm not sure which exactly. Yep, i got to turn it around. All right, so there we got our two different kinds of refrigerators. Hopefully they'll make it where you can actually store stuff for longer inside, but right now with the, the dried meat and eating dried meat, it's kind of pointless to even have them. But I like them for the decoration, if nothing else. I went ahead and slept till the nighttime, just so I can show you the different lights. Now this is just my flashlight. Now I'm gonna turn it off and then there's your uh, lamp post. That's how much light you get with your lamp post. And over here is the uh, little wall light. And then here is your uh, what you get out of the uh, spotlight. So as you can see, hold on, let me move it a little bit. You can uh, move it up and down to give you light exactly where you need it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and build some uh, bunch of different lights off camera. And then I'll bring you back uh, once everything's lit up. All right, I went ahead and built some, uh, some tiki torches, one of these burning barrels. 
And just by uh, these fires, you can actually light up your base quite a bit. These Tika torches, you can use uh, either the biofuel or the gasoline you find in cars. But the only problem with those, you got to use a match to light it every time. Same with the campfires and the, the burning barrel. You got to use the tinder and the matches. So let me go ahead and uh, turn on my generator. And now my base is pretty much lit up. You don't need that many lights inside because they'll bleed through from one room to the next. So one light's enough to uh, light up this whole room because it's bleeding through from this light and uh, the one inside. And then once I start uh, actually farming more crops, I can have enough light to work in and do everything I need to do around any of my buildings. I even put a light up here for Scott up here. You can get up here this way. Scott actually has a light. So we don't feel too bad. But I can get through most of my areas uh, without too much problems. So I'm not going to really be going up to Scott's room. Uh, he can go outside if he wants. And then the only place that infected really will come in my base here is this one gate because it's the only gate that will go outside. They'll all congregate at this one, uh, one place right here. They won't go anywhere else to try to get in but right there. So I can easily just wait for them to come and then kill them. So this is pretty much my finished uh, base here. I might work on uh, my other buildings in the clearing. But these fence fences are enough to keep the infected out. And I don't have to worry about bandits over where I'm at. They're not going to actually, you know, slowly wander over here or nothing. So I'm completely safe inside this area. I've never had a problem sleeping uh, or infected actually spawning inside my uh, my base because it's so small right now. Now once you start building walls, large walls, you might have issues where the infected actually uh, will spawn inside your base, but this, this area is so small that I don't have to worry about anything coming in. Alright, I think I'm going to end the video for today. We went over all the different lighting options you have for uh, your build. I kind of like the way the fires look, just the, the glow of them. But just the resources you're going to need to uh, start up all these fires every day is just, I'd rather just use the generator. And then turn the generator off every time when I'm not actually working. But thanks for watching, and I will catch y'all later.